While signing an agreement for free military assistance from China in presence of senior Chinese military intelligence officials, Maldives president has announced that no Indian military personnel will remain in Maldives after 10th May, be it in military uniform or civilian clothing. Serial Dip to Projects Private Limited has delivered the fifth ammunition cum torpedo cum missile barge to the Indian Navy. Indian firm MKU Limited has delivered the Cadro Doma 360 bulletproof helmets to the Moroccan Armed Forces, which is the world's first trifle rated ballistic helmet. Indian Navy's INS Kolkata destroyer responded to an attack drone hit merchant ship in the Gulf of Aden and provided assistance in residual risk assessment. A NIA court in UP has sent a man to six years of imprisonment for passing photographs and videos of sensitive Indian installations to agents working for Pakistani spy agency. Munitions India Limited announced that it has export orders from United Arab Emirates and Vietnam worth 6,000 crore rupees, that will be supplied over the next three years. India and France held a bilateral dialogue to discuss the use of artificial intelligence in the military domain. Boeing India has partnered with the AI Engineering Services to enhance aircraft maintenance training activities in India. Hindustan Aeronautics is on the verge of signing a massive 70,000 crore rupees deal with various Indian defense public and private firms, including National Aerospace Laboratories, Dynamatic Technologies, VEM Technologies, Larsen and Tubro and the Tata Advanced Systems Limited, and this deal focuses on third-party supplies of parts subsystems and various crucial aero structures for the upcoming production of 97 additional Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets for the Indian Air Force. The RDO officials have said that the ATAGs can be easily adapted into a tracked platform like the K-9 Vajra, but the Army had not approached them. To make the whole program viable, the Indian Army needs to commit for at least 300 tracked self-propelled howitzers. Prioritizing self-propelled howitzers will meet modern battlefield challenges, and the ATAGS-based self-propelled howitzer could significantly boost indigenous defense production, and offer tailored solutions for India's unique operational requirements. The Ministry of Defence has issued a new challenge through IDEX targeting Indian startups for the development of a helicopter launched drone with manned to unmanned teaming capability for the Indian Air Force. The armed drone should be capable of carrying a minimum warhead of 50 kg and strike targets at a distance of more than 40 km. The Ministry of Defence has issued a new challenge through IDEX targeting Indian startups to develop a high supersonic to hypersonic ramjet engine for fixed-wing flying objects used by the Indian Navy, that will be used for developing next-generation missiles and high-speed aircraft, capable of exceeding hypersonic speeds of Mach 5 and above. The Indian Army is gearing up for the 2,300 crore rupees project to upgrade 1,000 T-72 tanks with an indigenous 1,000 horsepower engine, replacing their current 780 horsepower engine, along with thermal sights, fire detection and suppression systems and other crucial improvements. The T-90 tanks will also receive automatic target trackers, digital ballistic computers, and commander thermal imagers. Today's top 3 comments.